Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Scott. Today I'll be making this um, phosphonium reagent. I'm from the reaction of PPN trimetaphosphate and pi -op. So uh, here I have a 100 ml beaker with a stir bar on a stir plate. Um, this is 15 grams of PPN trimetaphosphate that's been dried um, under vacuum at 100 degrees for probably 12 hours. It gives a nice dry solid. And this is uh, 4.1 grams of commercial pyop. So that should just be um, one equivalent of each compound. So I will just add the solid um, PPN trimetaphosphate to the beaker. I do this reaction pretty concentrated. Um, so to this, I will add maybe 20 or 30 mils of acetone. It's just commercial benchtop acetone. So we get that spinning. It's a nice suspension. It should stay as a solid, not dissolving. And now I'll just directly add the solid pie op. You can see it immediately turns yellow. And then depending on how concentrated that was, you may see um, all the solids dissolve, or it may sort of stay as a suspension for a little bit. And now we'll just keep watching it for another minute or so. You can see uh, sort of a lot of precipitate just formed. It's kind of like a powder now. So the reaction is probably mostly done, but we're going to let this stir for maybe 15 to 30 minutes to make sure um, that everything's complete, and then we'll come back and filter it. Okay, um, now we're back. It's been about 15 minutes, so now we're ready to filter this reaction. Um, I just have a filter flask here connected to um, a um, vacuum tube with a Buchner funnel, neoprene adapter, and a piece of filter paper. Um, so now we will just stop the stirring, we'll turn on the pump, and then we'll filter. So all of the um, yellow supernatant solution should filter through and you should be left with an off-white uh, powder. So we're just going to keep rinsing this with acetone until all the yellow color is gone. And this material should be essentially insoluble in acetone, so it um, should be fine to, to rinse it pretty generously. You want to make sure all of the um, yellow color is gone, as that is um, a benzotriazole um, anion from the leftover from the reaction. Um, so that looks like that's a pretty good job. The filtrate looks like it's coming out clear. Um, now we will just let that dry on the book inner funnel for a few moments and just make sure that no more solvent is coming um, out in the filtrate anymore. And then once it's dry enough, we will um, transfer it to a flask. So it looks like it's getting pretty dry, it's a nice powder, um, so while the vacuum's still on, I'll just mix this up a little bit.
looks pretty good. So now we'll just turn off the vacuum. I like to cover it. And now uh, we have this powder that we can transfer to another vessel to dry. So I just have a wave boat here that I'll scoop it out into. to make sure we scrape all the product off the filter paper. And there, that's a pretty good job. Um, so this is a pretty large amount of material. It's probably four grams maybe, so I think it probably won't fit in a vial. So I just have a round bottom here to dry it. Um, in filtering that, I got the stir bar in here, so don't forget to take that out at some point. And there. We have our product. Now we're gonna to wanna to dry it under vacuum at room temperature for a couple hours just to make sure um, all the solvent is gone. And this stuff maybe still looks a little bit yellow. So one thing you can do is now that you have it in a vessel, um, rinse this with a little bit more acetone and just pipe out the acetone in case there's still any, a little bit of impurities left from the filtration. Um, but for now, we'll just put it under vacuum just like that at room temperature for a couple hours and then it'll be done. You'll have the product um, as nice dry off-white powder.